Hey guys, just thought I'd take a quick video while I'm doing the videos of the um, bathtub worm farm. Uh, there's some food I made up um, uh, to a recipe that's in Bentley's latest book with uh, George Mengen, the, the uh, large Australian worm farmer. Um, I sort of don't want to let um, the cat out of the bag for for, for Bentley. It's his um, sort of his information, and I don't feel comfortable sharing exactly what's in it. Um, but that's after it's only been in there for for a day, and what I'll find here is is gobs of worms. Um, feeding at the at the side of the pile um, and and as I said before with the chicken feed they, they they're in a, a dish sort of shape um, uh, several inches away from the bottom of that so if I was to remove that feed there'd be um, worms all underneath it feeding as well um, probably within the next day or two I'll come back and they'll be I think someone said circling it like ravenous wolves um, is how they put it um, here's some food that would be um, Probably about a week ago since I put this food food in here. Um, uh, eggshells there, I can see. Um, they're starting to um, have parties inside the eggshells. Um, and pretty much, I don't know if you can see that. There's just gobs and gobs of worms. They, they follow the food around in this bathtub like you wouldn't believe. Um, I basically feed feed one section with, with scraps and, and then move around to the next section and move around then just keep going uh, keep going around in a, in a circle uh, around the tub and they'll follow the food and, and you'll find them um, this is the, the fresher food fresher food on this side um, you'll probably find them yeah there you go again gobs and gobs of worms in the in the new feed um, it's not hot anymore being the new feed would probably be maybe three days old um, in this section um, and then it might be say a week old in the in the older section there but even if I go around to um, the area where it's um, uh, sort of a week and a half um, old um, there's still worms working on the, the juices and everything that are that make their way into the bedding um, so you can really see you, you, you don't cover a worm farm with food you, you pocket feed it in different places and, and the worms follow the feed round as it decomposes um, I don't think anyone would be upset with with having those sort of worm densities um, in a farm um, there'd be uh, you know maybe maybe even f say 25 percent of that that bedding is actually is actually worms um, you can see there um, all the little spots you can see aren't um, cocoons by the way that's um, bird seed from our bird we throw that into here as well um, and that's what you'll actually see um, that have, that's seeded up and I sort of let it seed up and then I churn it over and turn it back into the soil um, for the uh, worms to, to get into um, people say um, they don't find worms inside their their eggshells um, but but I find them in there all the time sometimes you can open up a, an eggshell like this um, and uh, there's a whole li literally a whole colony of worms living in there um, and again uh, the light in the shed isn't too good I'll have to do something about that so I can take videos for you in future but you can see there is worms worms inside that eggshell having a little party all right thanks so much for watching my video